I remember when Barry got home from his first date with Rachel. Huh? <clears throat> what? You hired the same band. I can't use the same speech? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> anyway, I wish you both a, a wonderful life together. Aww. And Rachel. What? No, no, no. In all seriousness. There's not a lot of women who would have had the guts to come back here tonight. And even fewer who do it with their asses hanging out. Uh, I'd like to, uh, to add something to that. What are you adding? Just, Why are you adding? Okay. Why? <laughs> Most of you don't know me. Uh, I'm Rachel's boyfriend. Oh, dear God. Ross. Uh, and uh, I'd just like to say that it did take a lot of courage for Rachel to come here tonight. And uh, just for the record, she did not run out on Barry because she had syphilis. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm serious. Uh, the reason she walked out on, on Barry is simply that she didn't love him, which incidentally worked out pretty well for me. <laughs> Uh, so, to review. Uh. <laughs> Rachel took a lot of courage. Doesn't have the syphilis. <laughs> and wound up with me. <laughs> Cheers. I'll see you in the parking lot. No, Rachel. And once again, she is out of here. Okay, who had 945? Hmm? You know what, Bear? I'm not going to leave. I probably should, but I'm not. See, because I promised myself I would make it through at least one of your weddings. See, now, uh, tonight, all I really wanted was to make it through this evening with a little bit of grace and dignity. Well, I guess we can all agree that's not going to happen. <laughs> <clears throat> I guess there's nothing really left to uh, say, <clears throat> except... Um, Her name was Lola. <laughs> she was a showgirl with yellow feather feathers in her hair and a dress cut down to there. She she would Meringue. Meringue. Thank you, Meringue. <laughs> and do the char cha. And while she'd like to be a star, Tony always tended bar. Uh, wait, wait, I. 